Hi, my name is Anna May, and I'm a vocalist and interdisciplinary sound artist. And I'm Yasha Hoffman. I'm a singer, songwriter, and teaching artist. What you're about to see is an improv game called Vocal Orchestra, in which each singer takes on a specific role within the structure. And this is a great tool to use in circle singing and other vocal improv settings. Enjoy. In this game, your voices are going to serve particular uh, functions in this improvisation. And those functions, briefly, are what we call a motor. That is the, the first set of um, sounds that begins the experience. It's a repeating musical pattern that kind of sets the tempo. It, it suggests a particular feel, particular genre, particular tonal center that may or may not change depending on what other people add to the mix, but that it, it gets the ball rolling. The second one is what we call the interlocking part. So it's sort of like the other piece of the jigsaw puzzle. And I often say that rather than thinking of it as a call and, re and response to the motor, it's more of like an interweaving. Yeah, it's more like a rhythmic, melodic counterpoint, if you will. Um, the third, it could go in, in many different sequences, but for today we're going to say that the third function will be harmony. So the, the person who's harmonizing can opt to harmonize with the motor or harmonize with the interlock, or if, they, if they're super multiphonic, they can try to do both. Okay. The fourth person will say that that person's function is contrast. So they're going to like throw a wrench into it to explode the dynamism of what's happening. And then we are going to get to our fifth. And in this context, we're going to say that the fifth person has options. The fifth person can either add a percussion line. That could be vocal percussion, if you know how to beatbox. Or you can use other parts of your body to make a percussive sound. That's one option. The other option is to create a bass line. And then the sixth person will solo. So their job is to be free. That's a very important job. <laughs> and to add whatever special sauce that, the, that would really take the song somewhere that's interesting and compelling for them. We're actually going to have you all turn around. I'm going to call out the different parts. OK, now we're ready for the, that motor, whoever that person turns out to be. Bum, 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 bum. To have that visual cue, yeah. And now we're ready for the interlocker who's going to fill in the empty spaces. Okay. And now we have these two parts going. We've got a nice groove this is, that's established. So this third person is going to harmonize. That person is going to choose between these two parts to add some harmony. So what, what can add contrast to this? We have three sort of mid-range female voices. So it could be super high or super low. Or it's kind of staccato, so maybe something legato. Like what, what could contrast? What could add some dynamic contrast? have a bass line and or percussion. Alright, so now, we, now we have a full groove that's grooving. And now the soloist is going to add their special sauce that may include words, may include syllables, may tell a story. Who knows where she'll take it. And now in this version of an orchestra, it's typically the motor who will bring the song to a close. And the motor has different options for how they choose to do that. They can, I'll just demonstrate. Keep going. I remember your part. We can begin. They can just do a full stop, like, or bring them back in. Da 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 da